But something needs to be said here. 3% of your consumption of total fuel in this country, the bottom of the pyramid only accounts for it. This fuel subsidy we've been talking about is for the elite. It, it's for the elite. It's so for the when, when, when people, people say, oh, do the framework, do this and do that and do that, it's a tax cut for, frankly, four of us sitting at this table, sitting at this ta table right now. So I don't need a, a tax help from the government. I know how much I pay for fuel in my vehicle and, and so on and so forth. I'm ready to pay it. So the, the brunt of this, yeah, it will fall on the the no, poor Nigerians, the but they co the consumption. Prices. Everything yes, is tied to it. Transportation, right? right. Everything right. is tied to Look, but you have to be careful about this. That. This, when you are saying you want to put in palliatives and this or that, it, that is a subsidy transfer. You are moving your subsidy from fuel and now want to cushion um, transportation costs. You want to cushion food costs. Be careful with that because they're just moving money that you want to put in investment. And how long will that go for? How long will palliatives go for? Rotus, four of us on this table, huh? We can bear the brunt. You know why? We are higher than the lower class Nigerians. Yeah, yeah, of course. But if you go out there and feel the pain of the lower class Nigerians, people that have to trek, this narrative will not sail with them. And you see, and that's why even the most developed countries in the, in the world have a benchmark. Even America, the bastion of capitalism, have a benchmark for people that are caught in the lower rung. There is health insurance companies. The health insurance co is worth trillions in America. But there's Obamacare for people on the lower rung that people can get it. How is Obamacare funded? You get How is Obamacare so funded? The truth has to be said. No, answer that refine. How is Obamacare funded? No. From the Taxes I know. on the rich. Yeah. I know. So, That's how you fund it. So, so, so instead of, instead so, of, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me so, land. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Let land, me land. land, land. land. So okay. when you have that, you also have to take care of the people that are on the lower rung. And take, for instance, people that will move their goods and services through you know, the roads that are going to use petrol. That's why you see that there's a pastry effect even on food inflation because most of those local farmers that you eat from all will normally come from the farms and all of that. Oh. So when we are also thinking about people like us that can take the burden, all right, that can afford to buy at any price, we should also look at the people that are facing it at the lower rung of the ladder. And those are the people Labour are speaking up for. Okay. We are all capitalists. Right. So, 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 very quickly, very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Hold on one second. Okay. We're out of time. Oh, we're out of time. Well, out of time. Well, you okay. had something right. to say about his um, statement on lifting of trade, on what his policies around trade. Did mm -hmm. you want to say something about that before? No, look, it's very simple. Economic growth is how you alleviate poverty. You cannot do palliatives and forever. You must grow the economy. If you grow the economy, you increase the wealth of the everybody. Oh, as it says, the, a rising tide lifts all boats, right? Yeah, this was just a bull, um, a bull market versus bear market. This was Naira Metric saying tiny bull Nigerian stocks post a 5.2% uh, gain. So they're just playing on words. But as a bull market is a, is a positive market. But the point of this is that palliatives cannot go on forever. We support if you, that. If you grow and um, channel this money into health, proper health insurance, you channel this money into um, uh, infrastructure, the roads we're talking about that they transport food. Channel it into power. 30 to 40% of overhead costs for businesses goes to power. Yeah. Put the subsidy money there. You will help the poor. That's where the money should go. But it okay. takes time for that to happen. That's what we're saying. We it's a healthy debate. It's a healthy debate. You love it. You love it.